If I'm in the park and a nice gentleman comes along, I should be able to breastfeed him. Pretty soon, everything natural will become illegal. It's really depressing. If I die right now, would I get buried by a female priestess in a cave, surrounded by my favorite tools and ornaments? No! There was a time when children were taught about their bodies, about the goddess lady of the mammoths, about the importance of the spiral dance clutching a bison horn under the crescent moon. At the Beaten World Shop, where I work, we have classes that teach the importance of eating raw plant shellfish and understanding ancient crab circles. Oh, I love lobster. Have you ever tried talking to one? You'll and never get a promotion unless you move faster this time. No wasting time this time, pal. Trace little lines with your bare feet in the dirt. Listen, you're very weird, and you smell like patchouli and compost, and I think you might have a shot at a boyfriend if you shaved and got some gel in your hair and put some clothes that fit or something. I mean, please. The Joan of Arc Chain. I was given this fascinating pamphlet called Caucasian Female Body Hair in American Culture. Amy, I love you like my sister, but honey, you're falling prey to a sustained marketing song that began in 1502 to convince women that underarm and leg hair was wrong. There's nothing more natural than this enormous bush I've got growing under each arm. Like, Having hair there. is natural. What's the deal with Anglo-Saxons? I mean, go to England. The women there don't shave their underarms. It's really quite attractive. You just need to focus your eyes to look for healthy signs and not the signs of socialized barbarism, like shaving or wearing deodorant or birthing in a hospital, rather than the open air like a wolf cub. Remember Brother Romulus and Noble Venus? Wolf last. I find this really interesting. Not really, but I say this because I'm told to. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Now the partner. I know you didn't want to be a pizza boy. Well, I don't give a damn. Get up, your old A farewell ranch old people don't sit around stagnating and watch game shows and talking about the good old days sinking into the grave in a urine-soaked mess. A farewell ranch, they sweat and toil until the breaking point. Keep that miserable contemplation of mortality at bay. Hell, steering time will work Grandpa so hard he'll wish he was dead. At the end of the day, he'll sit down in the bluegrass, eat a bowl of commemorative beans, and enjoy sing-alongs at one of our nightly funerals. It's the Cowboys Code. Work hard, don't shower, and die in your boots. Right, Norm? Ah, my prostate. Farewell, Ranch. The only way to ride into the sunset. It's the knife that saved America. Yeah. If you like the film Exploder, you'll love this enormous commemorative survival knife. In the handle, you'll find all of the things you'll need in any wilderness, disaster situation, or the jungle of your backyard. It comes complete with fishing line, needle and thread for sewing gashes back together, and an incredibly useful and durable toothpick. Can't go without me. I've got toughest stuck in tooth. It's okay, Ho Chi. Try this. For those unplanned extended stays in the jungle, there's a saw for building your own hut, toilet paper, and a fold-out woman for company, as well as a serrated blade that can kill a man before he can scream. The Exploder Survival Knife. It's the knife that saved America. It can save you. This knife killed 20. What are you waiting around for? He's need delivering. Whatever. I died by the scissors and it's getting blocked. Germs are like so gross. Oh, hi, I'm Amy and you're on K Chat. Dissemine. I can't get over how familiar you are. Oh right, Amy. I really hope you leave my phone. The mysteries of the absolute can never be explained. Mother Nature knows more than all of us. That's what keeps people coming back from me. People are turning into zombies. A roof separates you from the sunshine in the morning. A bed separates you from the loving earth at night. That's what's so great about learning these things. When you're no longer oppressed by the cultural pressures of making money or showering or wiping yourself after using a toilet, you can focus on the important things. Do you travel, Amy? Well, I've been up north to the theme park, and last week I went to the beach. No, really, Travel. My cousin has been meeting every Thursday Saturday to prepare for a grand coracle journey along the same route we took when our people came from Russia and Alaska along the Bering Strait. I don't understand What's this, dude. What's a coracle? Oh, is that like a Maibatsu? Mm-mm. I prefer American cars. <laughs> no. <laughs> coracle. Cora means Arabian gazelle. 
which we all know was the daughter of Zeus, and Ka means gather grass and sow it together. A Kaka is a single person rowing boat made of reeds and twigs from ancient Britain. There are so many wonderful things you can learn Got from people ancient. waiting, pal. Like metallurgy and how to cauterize the wound when a bear has eaten your arm. Everyone used to have a Kaka, even people who were scared of water. They're all about working to preserve the diversity of natural life. We use everything. Question, who is this we? My coven. Like witches? No, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. But not witches like you think. We're just a group of people who believe in communal sharing and chanting a lot and can't find husbands. Reading magazines, cloaks, wands, horned gods, rubbing your skin raw with rocks, dying of old age. Ah. society only celebrates a select few. Every woman, every man is a star in the sky, Amy. Not just the ones that sing on TV or those people in the movies. I think I know what you need to separate your reflection from your true self. A Zen garden. Oh, my brother had one of those and the federales came. Oh, no, 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 no. Zen, silly girl. <laughs> It's a little sandbox you draw and out yourself. It teaches you things free. like that death isn't an end. It's just a stage and also a beginning of a new journey. Do you have a leader in this weirdo cult of yours? Not a cult, a coven. There's a big difference. Yes, our leader's name is Phil. That's a weird name for a leader of a group of witches. Oh, hi, Phil. What hairy lunch you've got. What with being a man who's a witch and everything. <laughs> Do not disrespect Phil. He teaches us the real solar holidays and goes round and round and round. You can learn a lot from this. I summer. know you didn't want to be a pizza boy. Well, I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. It's something to be respected. And the moon has a dark side, just like we do. And some people have craters, and only a sixth of them. The, the ancient Britons knew the moon could bring. We can change the world, rearrange the world. It's dying, though, Amy. And it needs a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, like a swan or a fish on a hook. If you take your nervous system seriously, if you take your organs seriously and explore them, some really neat things can happen. Phil taught us that. He's been to Mali to meet with the village elders. That's why there's the ceremony of the knife. Oh, great. Why does everyone have to be packing sharp things? The knife ceremony is very important and spiritual. It's an ancient one-person personal crisis. You say to yourself, I'm going to have a spiritual experience or thrust this thing into my head. Life actors never rehearse and need no script, Amy. That was said by somebody who was passed out. And I'm going to say it again, like the wind which keeps blowing or the sun which shines with light. Will you please leave? You smell and you talk really weird and you're just really gross. Not until I tell people out there, become an internationalist, learn oral traditions, learn to respect life, make war on machines, marry your mother, technology will enslave us, buy my book! It's printed on bar. Okay, okay, let's take a quick call. Hello, you're on K-Chat. What's your name? Hey, it's Emmanuel from Front Island. I love the show. Yeah, I want to talk about technology and saving us. You know that play, In the Future There Will Be Robots? Well, that's a true story. In the future, there will be robots. And I'm going to hack them all. I'll make them say funny things. You know, I can move satellites around with my computer. Computers are evil. The Luddites of ancient Britain know this. That's why they destroyed the computers that created things faster and more efficient and took their jobs. Oh, shut up. Computers aren't evil. It's the people that program the computers that are evil. That's a pretty big difference. I'm talking to you through a computer right now. In fact, I am a computer. Well, anything that can think faster than me is evil. Anything which doesn't dance or sing or cry or wear a smile. You create your own reality. We are like the dust in the wind. We are golden. We've got to get ourselves back to the garden. Okay, okay. <gasps> These need deliverance. Who you remind me of? My Aunt Susan! Oh, she was single too. Did your I'm mom, not single did you have to try? I show my life with a number of valuable oh, partners, baby. and we commune with each other in a non-judgmental, expressive way. Old maid, my mom calls her. Anyway, let's go to the phones. You're on K-Chat. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was great, really interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm British, you see. Like our ancient wood-wearing queen, Medusa. Ma, 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 Medusa. Uh, 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 uh. uh no, I, I think actually it was, it was Bodicea, but, but no, no, not, not really. I'm from Hampshire, you see. I'm, I'm here on business. A wanderer. Yes, I, I was wondering. You're, you're, you're a good witch, uh, correct? Yes, a white witch. But you have a broom. Yes, it's ceremonial. Supposing I'd been a bad boy, like if I hadn't learned Where my spells go? or something, would I, would I get smacked with it? Violence is 
his room. But you must hit Freddy with your broom. Freddy's been very naughty and not learned his spells. Hit me, Harry Legs, hit me. I deserve it. Prank caller. Prank caller. Sorry, listeners. Somebody call the IRS. Who let that guy in the country? Yes, poor man. So lost in ill at ease with his father, son, and mother nature. Come on, we're in a rush. Deliver these. And I sincerely hope you woo, take a bath. We'll be back after this. You're on K Chat. Don't go away. Hi, I'm BJ Smith. In my long and illustrious three year career at the top of pro football, I wore some serious ass and got paid for it. They didn't call me death and tight pants for nothing. When you have such a rewarding career, manging others as I have, you know how to stay fit. Through running, wrestling, stepping 20s on panties on boxes, strippers, farm training, nasal suit. Being the hell out of your fellow man. That's what keeps me healthy. And now, using training methods I perfected, it's going to work for you. With BJ's Fit for Football, watch those pounds fall off. I'm down to 300 pounds using exactly the method I demonstrated on tape. I mean, who are you going to trust to get to fit? A man who can rip your arm off and beat you the wet end? Or some aerobics instructor who wouldn't get drafted by the local hopscotch team? Hell no. BJ's Fit for Football, out now on Beta and VHS. Remember, to win the game of football oh, life, you. you have to annihilate everything in your path in a blind race. Ever since we were starting, I think our kids are on the road. We tried hiring a nanny, but she wanted health insurance. Yeah, right. That's what we got in the rest of us. She's great with the kids. Get these delivered nice and hot. start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The others football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, then violate your salary by 162. Wait for some action. take these? Our football. He's been in the trenches getting Agent Orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking the innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for fancy who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I work for my money. Yeah, BJ, just like me, I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Hey, I played professional sports for 14 years, including high school, and I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. With that little mustache you busting out, looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Oh, oh no. Damn, baby. You so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the jock scene. I like sensitive guys, you know, like actors or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that has to tell everyone how important he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, sweet thing. I was thinking we were here to discuss my new exercise video or talk. I know you didn't want to be a pizza boy. Well, I don't give a damn. So you got a big family, all those wives. That's fantastic. Not really. You see, I really like family, especially 
some show up you didn't know existed. I tell you, Father's Day, I'm scared to go to New York. My big heart has caused me a lot of heartache, but when you're in the public eye, you can't always tell what people are about. BJ has met some real manipulative people. Seven wives! That's fantastic! No, I have one wife. I had six before that. So you downsized, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So, oh my god, isn't this getting intimate, BJ? I feel like we are really connecting. And I like to connect with you. Other men may fumble, but I go into the trenches like a doberman. That's extra part of my video. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, running the ball is like making romance. And one day when... his videos on television, it's always that idiot fool in leotards prancing about giving it the skinny thing. And I say, what is this? I mean, what in the world is this? These people ain't fit. They ain't got a clue. When you're fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know I spit for football, able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for an hour straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you going to a bust a aerobic move? No, but when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he can tear his ligaments in his back and never play again, I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. And I should know. I have been here. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take dating or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you're washing the car? He can watch a car in Dignity. That's fighting fit for football. It really burns some program. The best way to get your body fit is to have total disregard for your body. Every now and then you wake up and come out of a concussion and say, Thank you. I look good. BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on K-Chat right after these messages. Are you tired of your couches getting ruined? Oh, Grandpa. I made tinkles again. If you've got old people cluttering up your home, why not send them to Musty Ponds? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping, and organ donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switching day. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facilities. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to something better, guaranteed in three months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. Drive through service to say goodbye. He was just the boy next door. Hi, well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse, a deranged killer, a small town in tears. Knife After Dark. for BJ's fit for football. Well, Angela, anybody can do it. What you need is a real expensive gym, a team of trainers, medical practitioners, dietitians, a big crowd, and a pool who wants you dead. Dead in dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood-sucking leech of a man who will destroy you if you don't destroy him first. A man you like set animals on. He's the enemy, and you sit in your foxhole till it's time just right, and then you pounce, baby, like a kitty cat on catnip. I'll sack a man. I'll drive him hard, again and again. Come on, you lazy bastard. Deliver this crap on time. This video sounds like a lot of fun. Fun? Fun? You think it's fun when you don't make crying more than agony? When you're so scared of what you're going to do to a man to step outside yourself like an astral projection and police go Kent State on you and, and people are crying and bleeding and, and, and pouncing each other in the face and that gets in the locker room with the again. That's your idea of fun? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Too. That's why I'm making a comeback. I've been retired two years, and I'm telling you, selling cars or appearing in soft drink commercials is not fun compared to having 50,000 low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the Mambas. That's actualizing yourself. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. What am I doing? I'm, I'm good to. 
Wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to sleep. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a physocrat. You can rip my arms off, and I'll just moat and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's get it on. Of course. I, I mean, when? Uh, soon, baby. Uh, real soon. But, and don't call it a comeback. Like the song said, I'll whoop your ass. And this time, I'm doing it my way. Ignorant fools that gave me nothing to work with. The owners, I mean. What owners are you talking about? The owners of the team. They gave me nothing. They didn't reach my marriage spell. I worked my ass off all those years sweating blood and, and puking my soul out, and they treat me like a tractor. Roll me around, treat me no better than the dogs. The guys that got hurt, they never saw a penny out of those muscles. That's just like Jade. Who's Jade? Jimmy. My friend. She's a cop. She got sacked for wearing makeup and an I Hate Life t-shirt to work and never saw a penny. <laughs> she like, um, football star. She teaches kindergarten professionally. You know, I know a lot of players who need to go back to school after they finish playing. It's a tough life and you lose something. What did you lose? What are you waiting around for, mister? You got pizza to deliver. Those kids are evil little brats. Listen, are you going to talk about your freaking friends who dress like a funeral? I thought we were here to talk about BJ. BJ Smith. And I feel alive. I mean, really alive. Ain't nothing more bigger than a head in your hands and looking him in the eyes and said, I can kill you in one second, old man. And he says, I got a wife. And you said, give me all the money in your cash first. What are you talking about? <gasps> BJ, are those muscles real? That's funny you should ask, because the answer is yes. He ain't implants or nothing. Wow, you're enormous. <laughs> nah, this guy's twice my size. But I'm quick, rich, and angry, like a Republican. So, oh, um, I see. Look, I ain't got anything more to say to you, and I can't fall in love with another gas or I'll get sacked. So let's go to the phone. Who's on line one? Hey, Amy, I'm a first-time caller. How you doing? I love your show. Sort of. BJ, man, you're awesome. Here's my question. How did you play that game against San Andreas with two broken legs? Oh, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Wow, man, I don't know what to say. This is the greatest day of my life. Why the hell you call in? Don't worry, I'm a professional. The method I use in the game against essays is actually a part of my exercise video. When in doubt, go for the groin. I hope that answers your question. That's a problem with the public. Hey, it. I get it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I get that all the time. People say, are you that girl on the television in that show? And I say, no, I'm the girl from the radio. I just look like her. Anyway, BJ, that's all we have time for now. Thanks, Amy. And um, look after that mistake. OK. Thank you. I'll be back on K-Chat after these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away. Are you tired of Dad? Dad, no one wants to hear your stupid Vietnam story. Are you tired of Mom? Hi, Angel. Do you want me to go outside? No! Do you hear that song? The arcade comes to your living room only without the creepy guys offering to show you puppies. Awesome! Plenty Janitron. You can play video games just like you were in the arcade. The Degenitron gaming system plays three exciting games, including Defender of the Faith, where you save the green... That's red. And Penetrator, where you smash 